So in this problem, you, we are given a couple of trigonometric ratios. We need to determine the value. Let us begin. So we'll start with our first one. We have to find out the value of sine 315 degrees. Now how to find out the value of 315 degrees? So we'll try to write it as the multiples of 90. So we know that 3 times 90 degrees so that's 270 degrees and we are still short of 45 degrees to get to 215 degrees. So we'll add 45 degrees to it. Now we have something of the form sine an odd multiple of 90 degrees plus theta. So that means whenever we have an odd multiple of 90 degrees then sine becomes cosine. So we have cosine of 45 degrees. Now we'll also have to take care of the side sine. For that, we will go to our quadrant system. We have our first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and our fourth quadrant. We have A, S, T, C. Now, 3 times 90 degrees, so that means we are in the third quadrant. But then again, we are also adding 45 degrees to it, which takes us to the fourth quadrant. Now, we know that in the fourth quadrant, C stands for cosine. So only the cosine and the secant function are positive. Everything else is negative. Now we are working with a sine function. So let's not work. Uh, we will never look at the answer, but we'll only look at the problem that we started with. We started with a sine function, and we know that its result is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant. So we have negative cosine of 45 degree, and that's a standard value. So that's 1 over square root of 2. So our final answer is negative 1 over square root of 2. Let's try out the second problem. Here we have cosine of 210 degrees. Now, we know that's uh, cosine. We have cosine of, so if we have 2 times 90 degrees, so that gives us 180 degrees, and we are still short of 30 degrees. So 2 times 90 degrees plus 30 degrees, that sums up to 210 degrees. Now, this time we have an even multiple of 90 degrees. Whenever we have an even multiple of 90 degrees, the cosine stays as cosine. And we will take the value theta, which is 30 degrees. Now we'll need to check in which quadrant this particular value lies, 210 degrees. So 2 times 90 degrees means we are in the second quadrant. And we are also adding 30 degrees to it. Addition takes us to the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, we can clearly see that the tangent and the cotangent function, these two for trigonometric functions are positive, rest are negative. So we started out with cosine function, so whatever result we get, it must be negative in the third quadrant. So we have negative cosine of 30 degrees. Cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So our final answer will be negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Okay, let's move on to the third problem. So in our third problem, we have cosine of negative 480 degrees. Now we know that if we start out with theta, then its allied angle is going to be negative theta, such that their sum, their sum is 0 degrees. So what is going to be the allied angle? And the reason why we're using an, an allied angle here, because we know that cosine of negative theta, when expressed in terms of the allied angle theta, it is simply cosine theta. Meaning, the so cosine of negative 480 will be equivalent to cosine of 480 degrees. Now, our goal is to uh, simplify the value of 480 degrees. So we have cosine of 5 times 90 degrees. So 5 times 90 degrees, so that's 450 degrees. So we're still short of 30 degrees to reach 480, so we'll add 30 degrees to it. Now what do we have here? We have cosine an odd multiple of 90 degrees. Whenever we have an odd multiple of 90 degrees, the cosine must change to sine. And we'll take this angle, which is 30 degrees, and drop 5 times 90 degree. Now, we have to find out in which quadrant 480 lies. So we have 5 times 90 degrees. 5 times 90 means we have in the 5th quadrant. So let's count it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5th quadrant means we are in the 1st quadrant. And we are adding 30 degrees to it, which takes us to the 2nd quadrant. Now in the 2nd quadrant, only the sine and the cosecant function, these two are positive. Everything else is negative. So don't look at the answer that we have assigned 30 degrees, so it should be positive. No. We look at the original function, the trig function. It is cosine. 
So we know that the cosine, whatever value it gives us, it must be negative in the second quadrant. So we should get negative sine 30 degrees. Now sine 30 degrees, that's half. So our final value is going to be negative half, meaning cosine of negative 480 degrees, that that's negative half. Coming to the final problem, number four. So in problem number four, we have to find out the value of sine negative 1125 degrees. So let's do that. We have sine negative 1125 degrees. Now, in case of a uh, allied angle negative theta, sine of negative theta, when we express it in terms of theta, it will be negative sine theta, which means that sine negative 1125 degrees will be equals to negative sine 1125 degrees. Now we will need to break 1125 in terms of multiples of 90 degrees. Okay, let's do that. So we have negative sine. So what we'll do, I will take 1025 degrees and divide it by 90. So we're 90 times 1, so 90. 112 minus 90, so that's going to be 22. Uh, we get 225, so 90 times uh, 2. Nine times, uh, 90 times 2 is 180. So we subtract it to get 45 degrees. So this is the remainder, meaning we can decompose 1125 degrees as 12 times 90 degrees plus the remainder 45 degrees. And this sums up to 1125 degrees. Here we observe that we have sine an even multiple of 90 degrees. And whenever we have an even multiple, then sine remains as sine. We already have a negative sine here. We have negative sine 45 degrees. Now we need to check in which quadrant 1125 lies. So here we have a 12 times 90 degrees. So that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means we are in the fourth quadrant, but we are also adding 45 degrees to it, which will take us to the uh, fourth quadrant or uh, the first quadrant everything else is positive that means in the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive so that means we have positive sine 45 degree and this minus is coming from the original problem so that means our final value is going to be negative of 1 over square root of 2 so this is how we can find out the value of trigonometric ratios of allied angles